Hello, my beautiful Libras. This second video is just for you and move aside my water here. We are going to do their current feelings for you. So we're going to get a five card spread and we're just going to look at a little bit of the split here. We have the moon with cancer. We have Pisces over here with a new perspective. I believe the new perspective is on your side, not so, not so much from a new person. I really do. This new perspective happened due to the new moon in Leo, okay, which hit August 4th. And then we also have this moon of something that you don't see yet. Ooh, Justice there peeking at the back of the deck. Okay, so again, karmatically, things are shifting. It's in your favor also in this reading. Your major arcana peeking outside of the moon there. That's saying a lot because everything there was major arcana energy. The hanged man is majors. We also have the five of swords here, possibly in the recent past. So we're going to keep that in the reading. And let's continue flowing. The lovers is at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody incoming with a lot of potential. And it's up to their free will to speak up. As well as you, if you have in common feelings for them, speak up too. Because if this is somebody that you don't want to let go of in the current, it's good to tell them they could be an air sign as well. It's picking up Gemini. But we also have Pisces and then we have Cancer in the Moon card. So let's get started. Current feelings for Libra, please. Nice shuffle, clear and concise messages, the chariot, four of wands, and the queen of wands. Three cards, just give me a second here. Four of wands is about seeing you as commitment. The Libra is fulfilling my taste buds for that. The Libra is the prime person for the choice. They are marriage material because we see marriage happening in the four of wands. They could be Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Again, we're dealing with fire and a fire season. There's also a cancer here of significance if you're dealing with Cancerians. The white horse is treading its way to create movement. So this person could intend on movement as the day rolls on. And I do want to update this in the evening. I do want to do the same thing, five cards to see if anything has changed as a checkup. Queen of Wands, very attracted to you. She's wearing a white dress here of cleansing and purity in her very own right. So she's taking care of herself. This is daily. This is about your daily mantras. This is about nutrition. This is also about looking at the soul in the new moon in Leo. A lot of it is charged by fire energy. A lot of it is by movement too, which are the themes of this whole cycle. You're going to see readers pull this week that it's a lot of it is about mental movement. In the new moon in Leo, we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. It could very well be a Leo or you are the sun. The sun card is going to be a major theme coming up. You will see it a lot. So look up its definition today. Study it. Look at the sun maybe as your own personality. Somebody views you as vivacious. You're free spirited and you also have renewal to you. No matter what side it is, if it's past, if it's incoming future, even a past person is viewing you as the sun. We clarified over and over again on Saturday and Sunday's readings, okay? So even if you don't feel up to par with that energy or maybe you're dipping in energy reserves, just remember they view you on the outside as the queen of wands. That's what you're displaying. Libra, that's a perfect place to be. Queen of wands and the sun, if I were to just look at your energy, this is about dependable action. It's also somebody in the queen of wands who has a lot of ideas. She's very sexy. She's also very movement based herself. She's a fire sign depicted in the cards. What else are their emotions? Can I get clear and concise messages for Libra a little bit slower too, so we could bring the pace down? Thank you. One I can't see, the three of pentacles. There is an interested and vested person in your situation or you're going to see an earth sign come in and create collaboration with you. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn heavy. I'm sensing a new Capricorn is very, um, they don't let go on you Libras. I feel like they're very attracted to you if you're dealing with Taurus or Capricorn. And I feel like there's a past Virgo here for some of you and a past Cancer. Okay, a couple more here. Uh, what's going on in the current, in the current? Six of Pentacles page of pentacles and the six of cups so somebody's missing you during retrograde that's the first thing that came to my mind but they don't know how to approach you they feel like you also are very highly ascended and right now you're very focused on your path some of you could be a hermit and loving it too okay that's a lot of deep thinking time that you're having but in their deep thoughts they're coming out as this six and six combination so they do want to give back 
even if they don't proceed on this in free will, I think the memories of you are very lasting for this person, okay? It's lasting. Page of Pentacles is a very, very small offer that they're thinking of. Why is it lasting? Can I clarify those two cards? What's very, very lasting here? Thank you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They have a lot of dedication and the passion of pursuit toward you, but I also feel like with commitment, this person is weighed down by a few things. Again, a King of Wands is somebody with um, industrial composure. He's a very, very big king in the actual series of things in the tarot. So this person's time could be demanded. Their time could have been given to other people, but they did not forget about you in the Six of Cups. I can clarify that because that's one of the peaking cards for today. In the energy, when the Six of Cups rolls on, it can come from anybody too. It doesn't have to be this past or new person that's in the story. It's just saying nostalgia is in the energy for all 12 signs, okay? Uh, what else are the feelings too? A little bit slower. There's a neighbor outside that's been like, I think they know that I do readings because it's a particular person who will roll out their trash when I talk. And it's trash pickup day, but it's a particular person that does it every single time. I, I find it funny. The death card, the page of swords, and the four of cups. So if it's a new person, we have here someone that feels like they're losing out on time to catch up to you. They're also going through a death in their life, huge transition with this card. You'll see that a lot of people are going through transitions together to create a better new earth coming up because they are improving their situations and they're working hard at it. You know, these aren't um, lazy Lathans that are just um, letting time idly pass by. They really want to see change and you're going to see that from different signs coming up. Maybe even the signs that I'm holding here, Scorpio. We got a little bit of Pisces and we have Page of Swords. So they're doing their research on how you would be a compatible partner. Libras, this person's feelings can be rounded out in four cards today. Something's transformed. They view you as a missed opportunity in the Four of Cups. I knew this was going to flip at least until the afternoon. So we have it clarified here. This is also about boredom, apathy, and that you were a missed opportunity or they view the situation as missed. But they're still spying in the Page of Swords. Missing you in the Six of Cups. What's the Page of Swords? Like, what is this involving? The Nine of Swords, the Lovers, and the Empress. Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. This person is reminiscing on who you were to them, the Lovers to the Empress. And it's about a soul tie that this person is continually getting reminders about, or they get reminded of you. Your card is here. I just want to show you that I have it. Okay, that's how I interpret the energy today. And it's driving this person a bit bonkers. Oh, three of swords. So they're very hurt. This person is hurting. The empathy that we must have to them too is that we were once here as well. We got to this part of this story by feeling this energy out and we also were in the three of swords. So that's what I have for you as the first complete message. But we will update this tonight because I feel like the energy will switch up throughout the day. I will catch up with you. I hope that you enjoyed these videos and stay out of the heat today, you guys. It's going to be horrible the next few days. I'll catch you very soon. Leave your comments. I do love to hear your stories very, very much.